In this tutorial, we are going to generate skirmians using the inbuilt Jaroszynski Moria interaction in Vampire. Add an interface between a ferromagnetic material and a heavy metal due to spin, strong spin orbit coupling can appear this Jaroszynski Moria interaction. And this is what uh, Vampire models within this feature. So let's take an example of a cobalt platinum interface. So we have these two magnetic um, atoms, Si and Sj, and the Jaloshinsky moria interaction between these two is mediated by an atom in the platinum layer, K. We can write the Jaloshinsky moria vector for this, for, this, uh, for this interaction, Dij, as a cross product between the uh, displacement vectors between atom I and K and atom J and K. And that will be our Jaloshinsky moria uh, vector. What does the code do behind the scene? Is calculating uh, the interaction mediated by a magnetic uh, atom, which is placed at a radius smaller than a cutoff radius, which will be an input of the code. Then these uh, interaction radius are normalized and then uh, the Jaloshinsky moria field and uh, energy is calculated within the code. In order to set up this kind of simulation, we need to introduce a couple of flags in the input file and in the material file. So in the input file, we need to specify the cutoff range at which we will calculate the um, Jaroszynski moria interactions. So because this example was for a simple cubic system, um, the cutoff range here will be square root of 2, hence we put here square root of 2 multiplied with the unit cell size, which in this simple case is 1 angstrom. Then we need to set up the uh, DMI strength, and this is set up in material file. So in the material file we need to include both the ferromagnetic material, cobalt, and the, the non-magnetic material, platinum, which will induce the jaloshinsky moria interaction into the ferromagnet. So in the cobalt material, we are saying that the DMI constant uh, in cobalt uh, is this value here, and it's mediated by atom material 2, so it's mediated by platinum. In order for the values to be similar with the, the, the other exercise, which was building the skirmions via the um, uh, exchange matrix, uh, I have uh, multiplied the, the DMI value from that exercise with square root of 2, so we will have the same DMI energy in, uh, in the system. The square root of 2 appears from this renormalization of the, um, of the vector displacements. So this is the setup of um, our simulation. We can now run it. So I hope you have cloned the Vampire Workshop uh, repository where you can find all these information. So I'm not going to clone this anymore. So we are in the Vampire Workshop uh, folder. We can go into the input files, uh, exercise T, three skirmions, antiparamagnets and magnetite. And this will be 3B skirmions in build DMI. So we are now in this uh, folder and we have the input file, the material file and some visualizing tool. We need to copy the vampire executable here in order to run the simulation. So I'll just do copy. I'm going to copy the serial executable here. So we can have a look at the input. Um, we need to set up the, the dimension size. So here uh, we have a simple cubic structure, which is basically uh, included in the material in the input file. We have parity boundaries x and y, so we have a monolayer. The unit cell size is one angstrom, and here we need to specify the um, the size of the system. So let's say 20 by 20 atoms, so two nanometers, two nanometers. And here will be 0, 02 because half of the material will be platinum and half of the material will be cobalt. And here we specify the material file and as well the um, exchange DMI cutoff range. And this is for a simple cubic system. The rest of the uncommented uh, parts of the input are corresponding to a field cooling program. So here it's field cool. 
in the four Tesla field from 10, 30 Kelvin to zero Kelvin in a time of 100 picosecond. So I'm going to save this. We, we can have a look at the material file and here we have two materials. So we have material one is cobalt, material two is platinum. And the platinum is not magnetic, so uh, it is specified here. And as well here we are using another feature, which is the material height. And we can set up here the first half of the system to be cobalt and the second half of the system to be platinum. Okay, so in principle we have everything we need. We can run this, so dot slash vampire serial. We have 800 atoms, two, or 400 the cobalt atoms, 400 the platinum atoms, and the simulation is running. The simulation has finished, so now we can analyze our results. Let me just clear this terminal. So we have uh, the spin configuration file, the coordinates file, we can have a look on the coordinates file and the coordinates files we have here the total number of atoms and also the first column will specify us uh, that we have different materials. So index 0 will be related to cobalt and the zero index 1 will be related to uh, platinum. So we exit this. Oops. So what now we can plot our results. Uh, so in this folder there is a visualize uh, script that has been modified in order to plot just a ferromagnetic uh, layer. So here there is an if statement where I'm saying plot the z component if it's smaller than 0.1. So it's just the first layer. Plot um, via this tool. So sh visualize.sh. Uh, we can go into the plot folder and display our last spin configuration. And again, we have obtained skirmions as in the previous example. So this inbuilt method, it's um, easiest way to deal with the jaloshinsky moria interaction. To use this to deal with uh, volumetric DMI in alloy. So it's quite um, uh, a powerful tool.